Merch Minds Podcast, episode number 82. It's super hot out here, like 99 degrees. Young was wearing a jacket. Where are you it's at? Not, it's 99 degrees over there? Yeah, it's it's out of control hot. These pits, they're bumping. Yo, I damn nearly lost my lunch just now. <laughs> you just um, took a huge dump before the podcast, so you should be good. What? Dude, you know what? It's actually like cloudy out right now. I was wearing, I, I was wearing a jacket, um, which is really, really unusual for Cal- uh, California this time of the year. But um, it is chilly. I was wearing a light jacket just oh, a few great. minutes ago. Um, what's going on, dude? It's been a couple of weeks since we talked. Yeah, it's been a good while. I actually think we have a lot, a lot of stuff to get to, which is good because I don't, I don't, I don't know we're out. To, yeah, I don't even think we have a specific topic, but we we do have a lot to talk about. Um, well, we got to talk about your Vegas trip. Pretty much, I want to know. We haven't talked since then, so I need to know every single. I'm not detail. telling you. I'm not telling you nothing. Okay, I'm not the, telling you nothing. The good and the bad, like the good as far as like merch collab <laughs> and whatever else is coming out, and the bad were like you and RJ hung over drinking, and we need we need both sides of these stories. I was I was not hung over, but yeah, no, we'll 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 talk about everything. Um, let's talk. Let's talk numbers first. Um, I'll start. Okay, last seven days, seventy-five shirts sold, product purchase, one thousand uh, five hundred forty-nine dollars and sixteen cent, estimated royalty, three hundred and seventy-seven dollars and forty-six cents, and one return. And did you upload anything the last week or two? Since Dude, uh, I have. I uploaded a crap load last night. I uploaded it. Uploaded a bunch earlier this morning, um, so I have been uploading. I haven't um, now. When I was in Vegas, um, I didn't do anything as far as uploading. Um, okay. But um, when I got back, since I've gotten back, I have been uploading, and we'll talk about that more here here in a few uh, minutes. What's going on with your numbers, man? Uh, last seven days, one hundred forty-three products sold, two returns. Um, estimated royalties four hundred eighty nine dollars and eighty nine cents. Four hundred and eighty nine. Yeah. So what's going on? Uh, this which is like, right. Well, it's the lowest it's been. The last. Well, it's been actually it's the lowest because I think it's like midday. But the last um four or five days I was at like six hundred something range. So it's been the lowest of the last week. But today I've sold ten. I think yesterday I sold like twenty five. Before that, I sold twenty something. So it's been good. I mean, it hasn't hasn't really. I should still make a little bit over two thousand this month for mm. May. So it hasn't been too bad, actually. Okay. Well, I'm probably on pace to do maybe sixteen hundred, eighteen hundred, which is a significant drop considering, um, as as most listeners should know, I've been doing consistently three thousand dollars a month. Mm-hmm. Right? Last month I did. Uh, just a little under two thousand. Um, it was like one thousand nine hundred and something, right? Yeah. Um, so was, you know, um, so for me, it's my numbers are getting lower and lower, and we'll talk about that here in a second. Um, but yeah, I did come back from Vegas. You were in DC. Mm-hmm. I was in DC. Um, what's going on with DC? I said hi to President Trump. Um, he wasn't. You, uh... you you and Trump would be tight. Oh yeah, we yeah, we're homies. Yeah, you got you, you guys are amigos. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, slap that fool up and down, freaking, uh, 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 the White House. Um, he came cool, on my man. super chat one time. Is that um, right? The live video. Yeah, it said Donald okay. Trump, and I was like, man, this must be the real Trump. Okay. Well, you know what? <laughs> I can't respect you if you're friends with Donald Trump. <laughs> no, I don't know the man, but it was um, pretty funny <laughs> because uh, we. Uh, I mean, I got there and I was like, man, this this airport is ridiculously packed compared to it. It just kind of reminded me like that New York type of feeling to where it's just too crowded. It's too much like stuff going on in that one airport. I mean, Orlando was like chill resort. Everyone's like happy Disney like effect. And then D.C. was like total opposite. I don't I don't I don't remember. I mean, last time I was in D.C., that was about. 10 years ago i i can't remember what the airport was like but i mean the city itself i really enjoyed um the architecture um the 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 history now did, did you get did, did you get a chance to take in the sites like the white house like seriously like did you go to the white house did you 
go to like the um I don't remember the memorial site in Virginia. Uh, but did you take in, um, any of the sites? No, maybe next time. <laughs> no, 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 no we, sourcing and, and just doing meetups? Uh, yeah, sourcing. We did um, kind of like a workshop. Um, that was our first time doing something like that. And then um, after that, we had like a little a little meetup. We did visit the casino, though, um, <laughs> which was good. But Did you gamble? Yes. What would you play? Actually, Blackjack actually won this time because when I went to our our uh, Tampa, I lost like 120 bucks. I didn't gamble a whole lot, but this one I won like 300 something. So it was a little bit better. What? I'm kind of preparing myself for like Vegas, eBay Open stuff. We're gonna see Ooh. if you gamble. Did you gamble out there? Oh man, yeah. Well, that's a good segue into my Vegas trip. Yeah. So we <laughs> um um so I did go out to Vegas for uh, the licensing expo. And uh, you know, bunch of people, you know, bunch of people were out, were there from the merch community. So I don't know if you know this or not, Glenn, but I'm like in a private chat group with a bunch of people, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and I guess you can call it like a mastermind chat. Um, you know, people like uh, Ken Rio and you know Matt Sheeran, his wife Erin, and you know, there's a bunch of other people um, that that's in that private chat. Anyway um and that's been going on for like almost a year finally got to meet some of these people like i met matt before and his wife right mm -hmm. but you know, i got to meet some some of these other people that i've um i've been interacting uh so you know people like anas you know um let's see who else who else uh uh kristen harris i've met but you know she she was there as well just you know just a bunch of um amanda balcazar um you know uh, freaking um our boy Jacob Topping was there. He's a hot mess. <laughs> I saw him like posting live. I think Dude, he he's a like... freaking hot mess, man. You know what? <laughs> he's in the pool I, I, I don't. I don't mean that in a negative way. I mean he's a good friend of ours. But that guy is a freaking hot mess, dude. Seriously. <laughs> um. <laughs> but um. But yeah. So so I got to meet a bunch of people. You know, Chris Green was out there. Obviously, Ken was there, considering he lives out there. So um. You know, uh, went to the licensing expo, and the the main announcement was the merch collab. If you guys haven't heard by now, Amazon just announced on Tuesday that they released a new program within merch. It's called Merch Collab. Basically, in a nutshell, it gives real graphic designers, okay? Okay. Let me say that again. If you're a real graphic designer gives you an opportunity to work with influencers okay people like shane dawson um uh i don't know give me some names um uh, shane was there though wasn't he shane was there yeah that's cool but, did you meet yeah, him i didn't get a chance to meet him i don't even know who the guy is i'll be oh, honest with on. you I, I don't i don't know anything about him except supposedly he does youtube Yes, okay. he's a YouTuber. Yes, you know me, man. I don't, I don't do YouTube. I don't even <laughs> like watching YouTube. Every now and then, I'll jump on there, but I don't. That's not my thing. Okay. Um, but um, but yeah. So it gives a chance um, uh, for collaborators and and graphic designers to work together. So basically, who else, who else was there? I guess you want to throw out some names. As far as who influencers or, yeah, or yeah, just influencers? No influencers. I don't know. <laughs> who was like, it? I mean, I mean, real graphic designers. Who can we work with? That's my question. Well, that's the thing. So, so I don't, I don't have that full list. I've, I've, oh, okay. I registered. Oh, okay. Um, and in fact, as we speak, um, um, I just got. So, 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 what happens is you have to you go onto merch collab, um, dot amazon dot com. You, you you fill out the form saying that you're interested. They get back to you within a few days, and they um, ask you a bunch of other series of questions. So today, I got the second set of questions, which I answered and resubmitted, um, and it said that I should be hearing back from them in a few days. But basically, from my understanding, there's a bunch of influencers on there. I don't know who they are. Again, I'm not a YouTube guy. I just know of um, um, Sean Dawson. Is it Sean or Shane? Shane, yeah. Sh Shane Dawson. I'm sure there's a bunch of other people on there. But uh, Rick and Morty, um, oh, I do remember that. Oh, nice. Uh, but but that's not YouTube, right? No, no, no. It's a okay. well, it's a cartoon, but right. Um, I think I saw CrossFit in there. 
Don't okay. quote me on that. I think I saw CrossFit, but it basically gives real designers an opportunity to work with some of these uh, some of these big names, and you just get a small percentage of the of the royalty, right? What do the royalties uh, look like, more or less? Would you say? I don't remember. You know, I think someone said it's fifteen percent. Okay. Uh, but I don't know if that's 15% of the sale price or 15% of the royalty. I can't remember. Okay. I don't even know, I don't even know if that's accurate. So again, this is just something that I've heard. I don't know if it's accurate, but that's pretty much what merch collab is. So if you guys are moonlighting as freaking graphic designers on Fiverr and all these other booty ass sites, this probably isn't going to work out for you because they're going to ask you a bunch of legitimate questions asking you about your background asking for your portfolio um so if you're if you're one of those guys that's moonlighting as a designer and not a and not a professional just probably this ain't gonna work for you hmm. okay interesting uh, and did you think it was worth it for you though like are, is this something that you think you're you're gonna get into and really do or do you think it's maybe like a side thing maybe well i would, would like i said i i i i i've applied i just received my second set of questions this morning, which I've already answered, resubmitted. Um, and, uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I guess, like I said, you know, you, according to what I've seen and what I've heard, if and when you get approved, you log in, you get to see the list of all the people of um, influencers and you kind of just pick and choose who you want to work with, make a design. Uh, if they approve it, great. If not, keep designing. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Sounds pretty so, cool. Something totally different. Yeah, it's something different. Um, it's, it, it definitely um, tells us that merch is thinking outside the box. Um, you know, it's been, a, what, a good two, two and a half years of just people putting up random stuff um, on merch, but it, but now now they're uh, giving us an uh, opportunity to work with some, some big players as far as um, influencers. How was the, I guess, the, uh, I don't know, reception of it? Everyone, everyone in the merch community seemed pretty pumped about it or just kind of like, eh, it's kind of cool? Um, You know what? That's a good question because I don't know. I mean, like for me, it was exciting because yeah. now, because, you know, I'm not, I'm like, okay, well, now that gives me an opportunity to try and get more money, you know, from, the, you know, approaching it from this angle. Um. You know, and I know there's a lot of, I mean, and I'm not picking on RJ, right? Mm -hmm. You know, he's a good friend of ours, but like RJ is not a designer, right? This probably doesn't benefit the guy because he outsources everything. Yeah. Right. So, um, I mean, the response that I got was, he was just like, eh, whatever, I guess, right? <laughs> I guess, uh, well, like you said, they're going to ask you different questions as far as your background goes. Did you ask, did they ask you about? education wise and they didn't ask about education but they do ask for a portfolio and it, <laughs> and it was funny because for me you and i talked about this right like i haven't had a portfolio site i i never had I, I never had a reason to have one yeah yours, yours all, is still back in stone age you had to like show your portfolio pretty much man <laughs> no because because I've, I've always been employed but i've been employed by stanford for the past 13 years now right yeah. I've never had a reason to have a portfolio side and all the freelance work that I've gotten were all word of mouth, right? Yeah. Um, so I'm, so what I did for, 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 um, for my website was when they asked for a portfolio, I just sent them a link to my Etsy store because all the stuff on there are original stuff, right? Mm -hmm. um, a lot of it's parody, I admit, but it's original work that I've done. Um, so we'll see what happens. I don't know. It may or may not work, and if not, if it doesn't work, uh, that means I have to finish my portfolio site, which I have been working on for uh, for the local merch method. Um, yeah. So, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll keep, keep you guys posted. posted. Yeah, keep us posted. I'll, I want to see. I want to see uh, once you get accepted and everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, again, um, not not to uh, pick on anyone that's outsourcing, but just. Uh, this probably isn't going to work for you. Um, even if you guys do apply and, and get in somehow um, and you're outsourcing designs for these big players like Rick and Morty, that's pretty dangerous, right? If, yeah. you're, if you're outsourcing, if you, get, if you get in 
and you're outsourcing designs for for Shane Dawson and Rick and Morty and claiming that it's original work that you've done, uh, that's pretty ballsy, man. I would not do something like that, okay? It could jeopardize your account, uh, and and if you want to take merch seriously, I would highly suggest you guys don't do uh, do things like that. Um, I'm guessing like Star Wars, like... Again, I don't know. I don't know. I, ju I, ju I just heard, um, like I said, Shane Dawson was there. I saw a list, and I think I and, and I vaguely remember seeing like CrossFit. I do remember Rick and Morty, um, and I'm sure there's a bunch, right? There, there's a bunch. You could sign up as an influencer, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, they were saying if you have a following of a hundred thousand uh, uh, followers or more, you you can sign up as an influencer. Um, so, um, but yeah, so great opportunity for both influencers and real designers. Um, but yeah, the, the Vegas trip was fun. I got to meet and hang out with our good friend Jason T. Smith. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. He's he's doing a little merch. He's not doing too much, but you know, he hung out with us for a couple of days. Tiki uh, bar. Tiki bar. Uh, bought RJ uh, uh, a drink. <laughs> this dude got faded. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I never had rum before. Oh my gosh! He was just acting a fool, man. We love RJ, though. You know, we love RJ, but apparently he never had rum before. Uh, uh, he damn nearly passed out, okay? <laughs> we should go. Um, was that one of the early days, or was that one of the later days? That was on... <laughs> when, when did I get in? I got in Monday. That, that was Tuesday evening. That okay. was Tuesday. So, so, I got, so I got in Monday Monday evening... Um, and I left uh, um, Wednesday <laughs> afternoon, right? Okay. Oh, I never had rum. Oh, and I got some pictures of him, man. He, he's not looking too good. <laughs> he know. faded I into should, oblivion. Yeah, I should blackmail his ass. <laughs> just, just, just post that all over the groups. Um, Did you guys no. stay at the same place? Yeah, well, actually, uh, Manny and I, you remember Manny Panetto? Yeah. I don't know if you ever met the guy, but Manny no. Panetto, um, you know, him and I got to know each other pretty good for the last several weeks but um we went and then uh, rj had asked if he can stay with us so uh you know we gave him the couch um and um if you guys um you got you guys have to go back and listen to the episode that we recorded in vegas um which you said you'll um have up here in a in a few hours yeah so let me because, let's tell everybody yeah this is episode this is episode 82 that we're recording right now episode 81 was kind of like a uh, late secretive episode that is available you can listen to it it's episode 81 we were late because we were both out of town we were both traveling and this is actually and you know what i'm glad you brought that up because this is the first time in like 2 years that we haven't missed a week yeah, I know. That's it's a just, pretty freaking good track record, man. Super good track record. Yeah. Um. So, but but we, so we did miss the Monday mark of releasing the podcast, but we did end up recording one. It just hasn't been released yet. But um, when it does, and it'll, it'll probably. I mean, t this is what Friday, two twenty, uh, my time. Um, hopefully, it'll be up here, and you know, it'll be up for you guys in the next couple of hours. But there's a funny story of us checking into the airbnb did you, did you hear that story yet no i didn't hear it okay well you gotta go back and listen to it because it's it's, it's it's nuts man for some reason man every time i'm on a plane something crazy happens <laughs> i don't get it man oh, um man. so um so so go back and listen to that um that story of of us checking into our airbnb because it's it's pretty funny it's actually really funny okay I'm not um but going back to the Vegas trip, yeah. So we, um, uh, so 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 that's pretty much merch collab in a nutshell. Um, I don't know. This is a, something you might want to consider. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. What about did you contact um, Eric? Right. I mean, he's a designer, but well, Eric. Okay, I don't know if I should be saying this or not. Okay, he's actually been doing it for a while. Oh, interesting. Okay, because he was the first one I thought about once he mentioned. He's actually been doing it for a while. So if you guys follow him on Instagram, he's been posting like pop sockets for like Rick and Morty like two <laughs> months ago. Yeah. Right? So this was definitely something that uh, Merch was working on because he had early access to it. Um, 
but yeah, so he's definitely doing it. Okay, cool. That sounds cool. Yeah. We got to bring him on the show then after <laughs> now we got to interview him about this. Dude, I chat I swear, dude. I chat with this guy every day. Okay, every day. And we just talk about how we can't get any sales. Our numbers <laughs> are dropping. I'm doing a little better than he is. Um, but um yeah, we talk all the time, but yeah, we should get him back on the show. Well, um, how's the, how has his numbers been looking now that he's doing this? Has it helped? No. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> No, no, man. Uh, uh-uh. uh. Okay. Um, but uh, we'll have to ask him. We'll ask him about that now. That we'll ask him. Clear. You know, um, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll get him back on the show here in the next few weeks. We'll okay. talk to him. Um, what else is yeah. at this expo? Like, what else besides the merch side? What about just licensing side? Period. What else is out there? There's a lot of vendors. A lot of vendors, and we're talking big time vendors like. Sega, uh, I don't know, uh, 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 Nintendo. Uh, Sony, uh, Sony, give me something. Yeah, Sony. NFL, uh, NFL, NBA, all these, <laughs> NBA. Okay, FBA, and all these, Nike. all these people. Nike, Hustler Hacks. They were all there, and it's just an opportunity for people like us to go and approach them and try and work out some kind of a deal, a licensing deal. Um, I did talk to this one vendor. I'm not going to mention who it is. Okay, mm-hmm. it was one of the, it's one of the small time players. Okay, but, but but the lady and I talked. She seemed really really interested. Um, she'd never heard of merch by Amazon. Um, kind of surprising considering freaking Amazon was there giving a <laughs> keynote about merch by Amazon, but the lady never heard of it, right? Um, but she seemed really intrigued by the whole idea of of not having inventory and having her product on Amazon and and then Amazon taking care of everything, right? Mm-hmm. And we just and then we just collect the warranty and obviously we split it. Um, she seemed really intrigued. I have to email her this weekend. Um, so um, yeah. So but one thing I did learn was as a small time player like myself, um, it was easier for me to approach like the small companies, right? Yeah. Like like I'll never get a, like I'll never get an opportunity and to sit down and talk with uh, companies like Nintendo or uh, the NFL, right? Because mm-hmm. because they're they're working with the big dogs, right? Yeah, I wonder yeah. how much that like. I think that licensing is for the family business. We've looked into it because I was mm. like, man, I don't know how much that is. It is a lot of money. I'm trying to remember how much it was though. Dude, well, you know, Manny was telling me because he has a little, he has some knowledge on this because he said his previous job, um, they used to license stuff with Disney all the time, and he said they would have to pay like fifty thousand dollars at minimum. Yeah, minimum like like also depends like what type of item. Like it was it's a ridiculous right. amount. Right. That's why I was going for the small time players. Mm-hmm. Right. Um uh so like I said, I'll I'll give them a call. I'll keep my fingers crossed. But here's the thing. Every time I get excited about something like this, I get shot down and I get my freaking butt hurt. N- none of that anymore. I'm not getting my hopes up. If it works out, great. If it doesn't, you know what? I'll just keep plugging away and doing my thing. Um, let's see. So that was pretty much the expo, right? That's how, that's, that's, so how that's many what days it. again? Three or two? Dude, it went on till like Thursday or Friday, but oh, I left okay. by Wednesday. You know how I feel about Vegas, man. That's true. That's I true. freaking don't like being in Vegas. That place is a dump. Actually, it's not. You know, let me let me be let, let me clarify that it's not even Vegas, right? Because <laughs> um, it's the freaking strip, right? Yeah. I hate being on the strip, dude. It's a uh, this piss infested bunch of freaking douchery going on on the strip, man. I, I don't like all that. <laughs> oh man, did um uh, did the Jersey guys go? No, no. Oh, okay, they weren't there. Um, but yeah. So um, just a just clarification. I don't mind Vegas. I just can't stand the strip. Okay. Um, okay. So let's talk about what I learned networking. Okay. Networking. Okay. Dude, so this is what I learned. So everyone that I've talked to, right? They're like young. I understand you're trying to do everything on your own, mm-hmm. but you need to scale up. So what I'm doing right now is um, now you guys heard me mention that I'm leveraging Penji. I'm still leveraging Penji. I'm using the, the hell out of them at the moment. Um, I just hired your brother. Yes. Brother, brother yeah. hacks. You and I talked about this briefly uh, a couple of nights ago. Um, 
so so I hired your brother to do some designs. I'm now designing myself. Okay. I was taking a little hiatus, so I'm designing myself. So I have so there's 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 three streams of uh, uh, designs coming coming in now, and I'm at some point probably gonna reach out to my university um, um, and hire some more students like I did a couple of years ago. Okay. So so I'm doing that because here's the thing. They, I mean, everyone that I've been talking to, everyone that I met that's doing merch, Glenn, uh, they've been doing it for less than a year and they're like already on the 10, 12, 14,000 tier. Here I am doing it for the past two years. I'm only on the 4,000 tier. And, you know, I've been bitching about this for the past year now about how I should be making a lot more than $3,000 a month. Considering, though, I've only had like three, 400 shirts live. So that, so my ratio is good, really good compared to most other people. But still, I mean, if, if I scale, imagine what my numbers would be like now, right? Yeah. So I'm but really I mean, right. This, but this at the same time goes in like every single platform that, anyone else is doing out there like if you're doing youtube how are you going to scale up and do more if you're doing ebay how are you going to scale up and do more same thing with merch putting more time effort and the more products you have i mean obviously the better it's going to improve and you're going to scale up but i think it's a matter of also deciding on what you want to do and do i guess go towards that but in your case you're working full time as well um I am, I am, but still, I mean, I just can't, I just can't sit down and make any more excuses. Um, so I'm outsourcing real designers. Okay, again, I, I, I emphasize that because ever since merch came out, uh, all these designers just came out of the woodworks claiming <laughs> that they're professional designers. I, I, I it's nuts. Um, so I'm doing that. Um, let's see. Uh, we had. And, and, and shout out to uh, my dad, Ken Real. Um, that bastard, uh, for some reason, doesn't want to give me any royalties for, for, for my allowance, but I still love him. Um, uh, but a shout out to Ken and Chris Green because they organized like an informal uh, pop-up meetup with the people with uh, um, with the people from Rich by Amazon. Nice. Where was yeah. this at? This was at the um, on the third floor of uh, the Mandalay Bay. Um, Miguel was there, and for those of you guys that don't know, Miguel was the head of Merch by Amazon. He gave a short, brief presentation. Not even a presentation. Like I mean, it was like I said, it was a informal talk that we did, like in the lobby of Mandalay Bay on the third floor. But you know, just 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 talked for like a couple of minutes, and then he had to leave. But um, I don't know if I'm even supposed to mention the name, uh, but um, but the um, the head of Amazon content was there, and, and and we had the opportunity to have a conversation with her, ask her questions. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna call her Sally. I don't know if I'm allowed to mention her name, but you know, we'll just okay. say Sally. Okay. Um, I get. I mean, I guess technically I can talk about it because we didn't sign any NDA or or anything, but yeah. uh, just to be safe. But Sally, you know, she's the she's the head of Amazon content. But so we had a, a nice 30, 40 minute conversation with her, just just talking and and have you know asking questions. And uh, one thing I will say is this, um, you know, there were some great questions asked. Uh, she did. Again, again, I don't know if I'm even supposed to talk about some of this. This is stuff. your podcast. You can say whatever the hell you want. Yeah, but at the same time, I want to respect uh, uh, Ken and Chris's relationship with Amazon. But again, I guess technically we can talk about it because there was no NDA that we had to sign. But they did say that at some point this year, hopefully, uh, they are going to go international. Okay. They did say that um, with AMS shut down. They're hoping sometime later this year they'll have a replacement for, for uh, merch as far as AMS. Um, let's see, what else did they say? They said, um, I, I personally asked about having new products, and they said it just depends on the data, okay? They can't just say, oh, we want to, you know, we want to have new products. It really just depends on their data. And it makes sense, right? As a business yeah. point, it makes sense. 
you know, what is the data telling them, right? Um, so it makes sense. Um, like Chris Green always says, Amazon is a data company. Uh, so they said, Sally said, based on data, it really just depends on on um, if and when they'll have more products. And I'm sure they, I'm sure at some point they will. Yeah. Um, let me see. I did ask her about VAs, okay? Because this has kind of been in the gray area. And this is not that I use them. You know that. I do, I do yeah. everything on my own. I know you. I know you, homie. She said you can definitely outsource your designs, but the TOS, Terms of Service, says no one else can have the password to your account. That's what she said. You guys can uh, interpret that however you want, but she said no one else can have the password to your account. So for those of you guys that are outsourcing uploaders, this this came straight from Amazon. No one else <laughs> can have the password to your account. Okay, that's what straight they told. Straight from the me. horse's mouth. Straight from the horse's mouth. Um, let's see. And she, you know, we got into a lot. Of, you know, we, you know, uh, there were some great questions being asked. Um, I asked her who tr uh, Triple G Mavs is. She had no clue what I was talking about. <laughs> that's um, hilarious. She looked at me like I was crazy. Um, <laughs> But um, let me see. Uh, is this like a public mic? Like you just go up and ask questions? No, or man, like we individual. Like, no, we were just like in the in the lobby of Mandalay Bay on the third okay. floor. Uh, we we had you know we we stood in a circle. Uh, Sally was you know on 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 one end of the circle, and we were just asking her questions. Um, Did you ask Sally if she had ever heard of Merch Minds podcast? She did confirm. She is live and active. In almost every Facebook group. So every time you guys say something crazy about Amazon, she sees all that. <laughs> right? oh, every oh, time you guys are popping off, talking about uh, 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 how Amazon is unfair, they, they, they she sees all that. That's good. She, she did confirm that. Um, let me see. What what else did she say? Um, Rejections, okay. She said, "Look, we all fear that we're gonna lose our accounts because you know me, Glenn. That's my biggest freaking concern. No, that's my biggest fear, and it still is, man. I, you know, it, but she said, like, no one's gonna get their accounts banned or suspended, uh, as long as you don't abuse the platform, right? I'm sure we all get it, rejections every now and then, but." Long as you're not uh, abusing it to the point where every damn design is freaking the Black Panther, the Pink Panther, you know, Star Wars or Star Trek, right? Every now and then we make mistakes. Um, for instance, um, lately uh, it's been the whole classy thing, right? Every 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 um, if if your if your listing contains the word classy, Amazon's been removing it, but they're removing it because by law they have to remove it right I didn't um, even know this so so she was saying don't worry you 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 know as long as you're abiding to the rules and the toss of Amazon you will never get you will never get suspended unless you're seriously abusing the platform that's what she said however it still scares the hell out of me man yeah you should have been like, hey, my boy, Glenn from Hustler Hacks, got uh, suspended, and I don't know why. I almost brought that up, and she would have been like, I don't know who the hell you're talking about. <laughs> hey, it's worth a try. But, um, but yeah, so and, and, you know, there was a bunch of other things that we had talked about, but um, uh, but that was cool that you know, um, Ken and uh, Chris set that up for us to, to meet with um, the folks at Amazon. Um, so uh, yeah, so that was that was that was that was super cool. Now um, I'm, I'm guessing there's also some other info that probably wasn't supposed to be said, but apparently RJ is the official hype man of a Seattle conference. So I just figured. I don't know. If he, I don't know if he's the official hype man, but he's he's definitely hype about it. That's for sure. <laughs> well, he's already talking about it, so I'm guessing that that's. Yeah. Well, um, it's it's been. I don't know if it's been confirmed. Uh, but there's definitely talks 
about another conference in Seattle. Um, sounds to me like it's definitely going to happen. Um, We're not staying at that same Airbnb, though. Same. Uh, you know, me and you one. are going classy. We gotta get. We gotta stay at a really good hotel. You want to get a hotel room this time? Yeah, hotel buffet. Dude, I like the Airbnbs, man. You don't like it? We slept like this. Uh, it's just weird. Like sleeping in the back of a random little house of someone else's regular house. Air conditioner didn't work. Blasting farts like crazy. That was you. That no, was all. That you. was both. No, that was both. No, that was all you, man. You dirty, filthy pig. That was and all that you. Just turned into a whole new thing. Couldn't even right. breathe. You just have a hot Very ass. <laughs> and Boy, yeah, fire. we gotta we gotta change this. Man, I like an Airbnb. Man, we'll talk about it when the time comes. But yeah, okay. from from what it sounds like, uh, late September. Um, if RJ is the official hype man, uh, well, so be it. Um, but yeah, um, so that's gonna happen in September. I highly recommend everyone. Uh, if you didn't get a chance to go last year, definitely go this year. I don't know if the guys are going to cap it off or not, um, so, so we'll see. Um, let's see. Jacob Topping, my man. Does he get a whole my, topic, a whole segment that we need to talk about? Dude, my <laughs> dude. This dude is a freaking hot mess, man. Why, uh, though? Tell us why. Dude, he, he's talking. He's talking all this wine. Uh, uh, what is it? The ice wine mess. Yeah. Uh, uh, he, he he's doing Facebook lives, butt naked in the uh, pool at, uh, at the pool. Uh, Jesus, Jacob. Hey. It just looked like he was enjoying life. I didn't. Uh, see hey, no, man. Hey, it's great, man. It's great. You know, like I said, I you know, I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm not saying this in a negative way. I've said that earlier in the show, but uh, but my goodness, man, he is a hot mess. <laughs> okay, he, he's a hot mess. Um, but good guy, good guy. So here's the thing. We talked about um as far as at merch by Amazon, right? There's probably like 50 different ways you can approach merch by Amazon, right? Yeah. I mean, there's probably even more than 50. Um, and you know, you've you uh, heard the adage, uh, throw spaghetti on the wall and see what sticks, right? Mm-hmm. Dude, I'm throwing everything on the wall. I'm throwing spaghetti. I'm throwing lasagna. I'm throwing instant ramen. I'm throwing freaking Vietnamese pho noodles. I'm throwing uh, uh, give me uh, what chow mein. I'm throwing everything on the wall because I'm gonna try to do everything until I until I get my numbers up. Whether it's local merch, whether it's doing the uh, merch collab now, you know I'm trying to scale up. Um, obviously, hiring your brother and Penji, I'm back designing again, and I'm just going to try everything because, you know what, after having talked to everyone, my numbers should be within – look, man, I'm two years into this, man. Yeah. Dude, my numbers should be no less than $6,000 a month right now. Seriously, right? So I'm I'm just throwing everything on the wall, and then whatever works, I'm just going to try and uh, expand on it. I think what what would have to be done is just like an actual game plan of like what you're planning to do, how many you're planning to upload every single day, what number you have to reach. What is your goal number? Ten, thousand. Well, like I said, ten ten's always been my ultimate goal, right? Yeah, ten's always been my ultimate goal. But I would, I mean, if I can still consistently do five thousand a month, hey, that's great. But yeah. ten, like I said, that's always been my ultimate goal. Um, so, uh, but like I said, man, I'm I'm throwing everything on the wall, man. I threw some, I threw a f few hamburgers on the wall last night, and that didn't work. I just lost lost my damn dinner for doing that. Threw poo on the wall. Oh, man, I'm 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 doing everything, man. Um, but Glenn, yes, sir. People are asking about you, man. <laughs> I knew we were gonna get to this point. What's up, dude? People are asking about you. They're like, what's up with Glenn? Is he not interested in merch anymore? What's the deal? <laughs> what's the tell us, man? What is it? Um, I, I'm working on a lot of stuff. What are you doing? <laughs> Here's the thing. So YouTube, I am taking somewhat of a, 
I'm not I'm not leaving because I still have to upload videos, but I'm not gonna do as many videos as I did. I'm gonna focus more on quality. So like this week, I also since I was traveling, I didn't do um any videos Tuesday through Thursday, which was only two videos this week. Um so I'm trying to limit it down to like two to three videos a week. So that has to change for me. I did tell you how how well I was doing on the uh, sneaker stuff, which I haven't talked about necessarily on other things, but I've been doing really good on that. So that I have been scaling up and trying to do better on the shoe eBay part. Um, the merch thing, I haven't really lost... I mean, I'm still getting pretty good royalties. I'm still making over the, uh, like, you know, two grand a month. But as far as uploading new stuff, haven't really done anything with that. That's where Why? I am. No, look, the only reason I'm asking is because people are asking me, seriously. Yeah. Right? Hey, what's up with Glenn, man? What's up? You know, is he doing merch? What's up? And I'm like, you know, I never see him in the groups. How come he's not in the chat like everyone else? And oh, I just yeah. tell him, and I just tell him, look, man, he's just busy doing YouTube and, and all that dms out of control uh emails are out of control I'm that's sure what i'm people... saying people are asking questions dude they're like what's going on with your boy glenn i know i'm trying to go through like all of them i mean i mean my my, my response to them is and i don't know if this is true or not but i i think it's true because that's what you tell me right i'm like you know what man he's just really busy working on ebay and just working on this channel i mean he's all about his channel he wants to grow his channel um i mean is that fair to say Oh, that's very fair to say. I guess with eBay, I mean, eBay, I've, I'm always going to do it. I like doing it. The channel thing, um, I really want to do quality because I think that's where it's at more than kind of like rushing out content and getting out there. Because I've noticed that when I did that, people weren't really watching as much also because it's kind of hard to catch up. Um, but the way that I see it, though, is like the, the channel is something that not everyone can do like merch by Amazon. People can do it. Anybody can no, sign I, I agree, up. I, I can totally that. agree with that. Same no, thing no, with no. eBay. Like I feel that too. And it's, it's super, the same thing though is like a uh, Ken Hustleby. He, he asked me the same thing. He's like, dude, I don't even, I don't even try telling people to ask you questions because you're not going to respond. And I'm like, dude, I'm trying to respond like hundreds of emails and DMS and the private, the private groups, yeah, forget that. Like that's that's hard for me to check on. I even stopped notifications because it just got too wild to have like twenty different private mastermind groups and that I couldn't even answer between eBay and merch. And I was like, I just can't go through all these. It's it's impossible. You're still doing your monthly meetups with um as far as YouTube and, and eBay is concerned? Uh yeah, monthly meetups we're still gonna <laughs> We're still going to do that, but um, I'm trying to figure out, like, we're also going to do, because last time we talked, I said I was going to try to go out of town less. Mm -hmm. I might go out of town more, but less days, if that makes sense. So you're going to go out of town more, but less days. So, 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 for instance, instead of going to D.C. for five days, you're going to uh, D.C. and Detroit for two days each. Every other week, dude. That's that's a lot, man. <laughs> that's a lot. And the reason why is because of the sourcing thing. So, so like DC, I shipped back like sixty something pairs. Uh -huh. Um, now I figured if I can do that, but Friday and Saturday are really like the best days to go when it comes to like outlet finds like nike things like that so there's no really point for me to be there like sunday monday and leave on tuesday i was in dc for like five or six days i mean i only need to be gone for like two or three max mm -hmm. and then come back so that's okay. what i really want to work on is like shorter trips but every other week or something let so me you get all the sorts in then did yeah. you turn off the notification for the Merch Minds Facebook group. I turned off notifications for all groups. <laughs> and why'd you turn off the notifications for the Facebook group that you're a part of, man? At least turn that one back on. It just got out of control. I know, but just turn it back on, dude. <laughs> People are asking about you, man. I can't say I try, but I'll try to try. Turn it back on. <laughs> It'll start interacting with some people, man. There's a lot of things going on. 
but but yeah, no, I mean, in, in all seriousness, people were asking about you. They're like, you know, hey, is he, does he want to do merch anymore? I'm like, yeah, man, he's he's doing the whole merch thing. So uh, that's the only reason I bring it up. Yeah. No, no, no. It makes total sense. But yeah. Um, but next week, you know, actually this week, we were supposed to have Kristen on because I told her that I was going to um, interview Kristen Harris. Um, but you know what? We just – we you and I hadn't talked in – a good couple of weeks, which is kind of rare um, yeah. that I just want to dedicate a whole show just between you and I and just catch up. Um, so we'll have her on next week. Hopefully um, if her schedule allows, she was supposed to be our first female guest and then she got sick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I remember that. Yeah. So hopefully we can get her on next week and we can talk to her because she's, she's doing some pretty good numbers considering uh, she's outsourcing everything as well. Um, and, and this is what's crazy about her, man. She's um, uh, she's a psychologist or a, or or, or a, a, a something, man. She's she's a doctor of some kind. She has a PhD, super smart, but she sees the potential in merch. So it it just goes and shows you that hey, you can be really successful outside of merch, but the power of merch is really just 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 driving. It's just making everyone just sign up for it. Yeah. It's nuts. Um, so so we'll, we'll talk to her um, hopefully next week. Other than that, man, any closing comments? Um, I think it was pretty good. I really wanted to know what you guys were, were up to out there. So that was pretty cool. What about the off, off expo? Um, the off expo? <laughs> like off expo stuff. And what were you guys doing outside of that? Like the fun parts. Oh, man, n- nothing. It was, ju- it was just um, uh, meeting up for dinner and drinks. Um, did you, get you know what, up oh, no? dude? You know, nah, man. You know what? Because look, you know, you know what we did the first night. Like I said, I got. Why are you laughing, dude? I'm no, being no, honest. No, I believe you. Go ahead. Okay, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a serious guy, dude. You're very okay, serious. I, I, I don't joke. I know you don't. Um, so I got there Monday night. Mm-hmm. Um, it was it, and and Manny. Like I said, we had some issues checking into our Airbnb. So you have to go back and listen to that part. Okay. Um, so those guys picked me up at the airport. Um, we were able to check check in eventually. Um, dude, we went to a freaking sushi smorgasbord. All you can eat. Damn nearly killed ourselves eating all that damn sushi. Um, so we didn't go out that night, man. We were in bed by 11. We woke up early next morning because the keynote was at 8. Um, and then, and, and then, so that's Tuesday. So Tuesday night after, after the expo is when we went to, um, when we met up with Jason T. Smith and went to Frankie's Tiki room. Um, that's where RJ had his first, uh, uh, experience with rum, that damn nut job. Um, (laughs) and, um, and then next day we went back next day being, being Wednesday, we went back to, uh, the expo for just a tad bit. Um, and then we had that that informal meetup with Bridge by Amazon, and th- and then I flew back home. That was it. Okay. So Sounds technically, like so technically, we just went out on Tuesday night. Really, you were well behaved. Man, I was acting a fool. When, when am I ever well behaved? You just said you, you just said you don't know. You're not messing around. You don't joke around. You're... No, I said I'm a serious guy. Okay. But I, that's all I said. It sounds like Jacob Topping and RJ were like. Really, the whole party of this whole thing. Those guys need to get a room together. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I think that's awesome. Live twenty four, like a twenty four seven live of just RJ and Jacob. Those guys need to get a room together. That's all I'm saying. No, <laughs> but you know what, uh, RJ, you know what, he's um he's a good sport, man. I was, I I, I was uh messing with him the whole time, and uh, he has a good sense of humor. So uh, um, um, props to RJ, but um, no, you know all those guys are fun, man. You know we we poke fun at Topping, but he's a good guy. Um, he's a little crazy in, in the head, but um, he's cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. It's so, but other than that, man. Hey, YouTube channel, your email address. What is it? Hustler Hacks and Hustler Hacks One at Gmail dot com. You can email me, but yes, it will take me a couple of days, but I will get back to you. Dude, turn your notification on for your group at least. <laughs> okay. What is your problem? Um, you. <laughs> and then you guys can find me at geekhustle.com and you can email me at young 
Y-O-N-G at geekhustle.com or just tag me in the groups. Other than that, man, hey, uh, I'll see you next week. Um, hopefully, you'll, you'll, you'll have your notification back on in the group and, and, and you can start mingling with us again. <laughs> Yes, sounds good. And everyone else that's listening, uh, sign up. If you are a real graphic designer, real, where can they go sign up again? Merchcollab.amazon.com. Okay. Yeah. That was a good topic, though. Really, I'm interested in it. And keep us updated if you get accepted in and all that good stuff. I will. All right. See you guys. And, uh, yeah, next week we're uh, working on our guest. But we're ready to go. Episode 83. See you.